I'm Diane Reese, Director of Science for the Braintree Public Schools. What you see behind me is our Braintree High School Science Fair. We have uh, about 115 projects, approximately 160 students who are presenting today. Actually, many more have done projects, but these are the, the strongest projects are here being judged by uh, guest judges from Braintree and beyond. We have uh, representatives from Genzyme and Raytheon, for example, here judging the students' projects and giving them some nice feedback on their work. This is uh, the 49th year of the Braintree Science Fair, as far as I can figure out. Um, it's been almost uh, since Sputnik, Braintree High School's been hosting a science fair. It's open to the public from 6 to 7 p.m. for poster viewing, so if you miss it this year, you should plan on coming next year to see what the kids have done. Hi, I'm Mary-Kate Fallon. I'm a 16-year-old 11th grader at Braintree High School. For the Braintree High School Science Fair 2009, I did a project on um, finding if there was a correlation between height and success of NFL players. Um, through my research, I found that the strongest correlation, meaning that the most effect height had on any NFL player, was in the wide receiver position, and that had a um, R squared value of 0.12, meaning that 12, about 12% 12 of the variation in height accounted for the variation in the receiving yards of the wide receivers. Hi, um, I'm Amanda Warwick from Braintree High School and I'm a sophomore. And for my science fair project, I did the effects of the size of a pinhole on the quality of the image. And I found that the smaller the size of the aperture is, the higher quality resolution the image will come out to be.